Hello! Welcome back, everybody. We're back after a small, very small one-week hiatus. There were some important things that a lot of us had to attend to, uh, specifically uh, Leg Day and Lemon Kiwi. Congrats on your first week of Overwatch League. Clap, 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 clap. Very, very good job. But we're back now playing some Star Wars D&D, &D, specifically the Fantasy Flight version of it. I am your DM and host, Kenobi, and I will be joined by a lovely cast of crew who I will just go through right now, give a little bit of introduction about their characters, what they do, where they come from. Um, we had an interesting session last time that I will recap a bit, and we'll play a fun little game to see if anyone can gain some inspiration from me. So let's start it off. Lafon is right under me right here. Go ahead and kick us off. How you been, man? And true any truers any truers true true oh we're muted i love i love production uh wait they shouldn't be muted hold on okay let's 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 figure this out yeah one xp everybody gets one xp so that translates uh... luckily everyone heard your intro they just didn't hear lafon so okay yeah, <laughs> that should have fixed it are we plus one still? Uh, uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, uh, all right, okay. Uh, so nice. yeah, let's start. Lafon, go ahead. Let's let's do rewind a bit. Hi, I'm Lafon. I'll be playing Talrin Vidas here in the stream tonight. As I was saying before, uh, before so rudely interrupted me, I'm a good person. True. I think the force interrupted you for a reason. On Any that truers? One. Any truers? That's it. Incredibly based, Lafon. Thank you, uh, Talrin. It's, it's Talrin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lafon here is just a bystander. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything else. Yeah. So Talrin started, and then we go over to Leg Day. Leg Day. How have you been, my friend? Pretty good. Uh, Lemon and I had a pretty poggers first week of Overwatch League, and uh, today I'll be playing HK77, the droid bodyguard to Lady Mara. Very accurate and shots. Morality also. is uh, ambiguous to a droid. It's just all about the programming at that point. And uh, <laughs> the counterpart to uh, HK77, Lemon, how are you? Good. I'm Mara Vakar. Uh, wait, I don't want to... Can we spoil last episode? Sure. I, I might have thrown a bitch. I might have thrown a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, where Into did... Yeah. Where, 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 where were perhaps. they thrown? How In you... space. <laughs> we're testing out space physics with children, guys. Educational stream, by the way. We, we we caught them venting, or rather, we caught exactly. them and we invented them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forces mm -hmm. them, Same thing. We forced them to vent. They were a bit sussy, you know. <laughs> we we had to we had to make sure that there were no more uh, imposters among us. Uh, I can't believe I just made that joke. Anyway, uh, right, guys, Paul. it's been nice being on the show. Uh, this is the last time, no, um, yeah, I'm Paul. Possible, whatever you want. Um, I play Kiel Trisley, uh, Pantoran, who uh, apparently is kind of good with a lightsaber sometimes. So. That's all you really need to know about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely good Very enough true. to break an entire encounter that I had planned for you all. You know, just perfectly played. Well, well done. And last <laughs> but not least, we have Volamel. Hello. Um, I'm here to not do anything correct. Uh, <laughs> I'm piloting the, the absolute mess of a human engineering savant that uh, can't manage to turn on the lights and or find any kind of documents, even if he tried. Uh, Walt's Tycho, you know, do anything right, challenge extra hard. <laughs> See you. See you. I agree. All right. So we had, as you can tell, I mean, a bit from what we've gotten from the players so far, we've had a bit of an interesting first session, last session. I will recap a little bit to kind of give everyone who made this may be the first session um that they're watching a bit of an update on how we got to where we're going to be starting off so we started off with our characters having uh just entered this listening post and were under fire from a bunch of rebels uh that were trying to take them down very easily it felt like did this group uh cut or our group cut through the rebels uh trying to make their way to the location in the listening post where they believed that there was going to be a jedi hidden away there and eventually through some you know nice tactics and good uh 
computer splicing. I don't think it was from Waltz. I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was. The door The door was Waltz. The door was Waltz. Okay, the doors were Waltz. Pretty so sure. Waltz did some good you know, hacking and was able to get into the system and find out where exactly uh, the Jedi was, also by using some of their Force powers. Um, they eventually did find the Jedi, who was accompanied by two uh, Padawans, a uh, boy and a girl who were apparently on the run with this Jedi and the Jedi unfortunately for them was encircled and eventually the Padawans were taken out way before the um, way before the Jedi um, and with that uh, with the Jedi taken out the rest of the group managed to find their ship found some interesting information on that ship and now are on their way back to their command ship called the Light Reaper and being followed by a little Padawan girl who's now just floating in space. Um, so now I will I don't ask think she's following us anymore. We don't have like a tow hook attached. <laughs> well, maybe she's just going. <laughs> I didn't think got... of that. I mean, momentum, right? They would have the same like, momentum, right? Anyway, um, here's what I'll do. So this is something that I do with a lot of my parties is I will ask them before we start every session, is there something that I didn't say or that I omitted that you would like to remind me of? If you can think of something, then you get an inspiration. Does so, it have to be important? It no, I, I no. Actually, it never. Usually, some of the times it isn't. So because I was gonna bring up the fact that Mara made the one Rebel commander bark before she killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, oh, go ahead yes. and get your inspiration. That's an inspiration. <laughs> my job. Time. <laughs> we also collected some kind of, I believe, astrogation data from the Jedi's ship. Mm -hmm. Correct. Leg day, go ahead and give yourself the that actual important information. Was it not about lightsaber manufacturing? Correct. Volmo, go ahead. I, 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 I don't know how to give myself yeah, how, how does one. You just, you, just, you just have it. You just, like, have oh, it. Okay. Okay. You, okay. Take it off. you just we remember that you those. have it. Yeah. Um, so next is Lemon and Lafon are the two that we have left. I have the memory of Swiss cheese, so unfortunately. Oh, we yeah. used force influence on the little girl. That's okay. how we got her to mm -hmm. kind of join our side a little bit. And, you know, we, you see Mara have kind of like a weird obsession with, like, having a child. Okay, yeah. We do have good. an extra lightsaber. I did take the one from, uh, from the other Padawan. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. yep. And, and so... I have a child's lightsaber because HK was like, oh, no, 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 not the Lady Ma. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't have the Jedi's knight, uh, lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's... Uh, that, that's that's right now. <laughs> so that's a, uh, that's a full clear on inspiration. So all of, your, all of you guys, just remember for yourselves, you have that one inspiration. Cool. Uh, now we're going to do the other fun part that we have to do before sessions. We're going to roll our destiny mm -hmm. pool. So... Everyone, just in case uh, you don't remember from last time, uh, go into your character you. sheet and um, retweet on the first tab. Retweet. Yeah, we'll retweet first. Yeah. Hit the retweet <laughs> button. Uh, and then scroll down to Destiny Pool, and mm -hmm. it should say, um, oh, it should roll say Rolled Destiny. Destiny. I have. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's, oh. A, that's a lot of bad Destiny. <laughs> That's good for us, right? Where we oh, like the dark. Well, <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically you would. Uh, unfortunately, the way the system works is that the system uh, we can't switch them, so it has yeah. to be the light side. So yeah. let's see. This is. Um, I know what I did. Hold on. <laughs> what? Hold oh, on. did you roll I it off the starship? The ship. <laughs> starship. <laughs> <laughs> Our only light side point came off the starship. <laughs> Should I re-roll? I'm guessing I should Yeah, re yeah, re-roll from your okay. own character. Oh, okay. Uh, fucking okay, so, so this seems you like a good time to, uh, this seems like a good time to use one of our, um, what you call, one of our acts of God. Act of, oh no, uh, the of course. Uh, our act of God, which we will call, if I can, oh, oh, the deal. oh. Uh, what does that say? I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. So what this does is every single dark side point flips to a light side point. Oh, oh awesome. good did it, I guess. So oh, that's let's go. very good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip this one back all the way. Save. Uh, that's quite a bit of fragging. Yo, let's Save. go. Shout let's out go to people with the Kofis and the Axe of God. Well, yes. 
definitely, definitely felt like that was needed in that case right there. That was probably uh-huh. the best, the best <laughs> chance uh, of that ever getting used is going to be in that scenario. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Seven destiny points all for you. Your inspirations are all oh uh, dealt out. And we begin as we normally do in Star Wars with a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away as I open the text that I need to read. See, if you add that, they can't both copyright us, so we're good. We're good. Awesome. They can copyright us on a vocal rendition anyway. We weren't close enough. Um... So, we begin our next episode as the camera kind of zooms in and we see this um, Artequins class cruiser hovering in the vacuum of space above this uh, snow cover, ice covered planet that the heroes are just, the heroes is a very loose term, the party is just arriving from. Um, we see then two ships fly into view, a normal kind of Imperial shuttle um that everyone knows and then a smaller more beaten down um ship and as this like smaller beaten down ship is coming through you can see the airlock is like slowly closing from its before usage um both of the smaller ships enter their way into the hangar of this um ship and the camera pans to a set of doors that are on that ship in the shuttle and the shuttle you know the ramp kind of like moves its way downward and we see um Kial and Tolerin walk out with this you know Jedi uh Selazan who is still unconscious and they're kind of just like pulling her or pushing her or I guess like pulling her would be the way that because she's unconscious um they're pulling her out of the ship and um followed by the rest of the uh team coming from the other ship that was there um and waiting outside this ship is a group of about 10 stormtroopers, um, all with rep- weapons at the ready. And standing beside the soldiers is this woman with kind of this long blonde hair um, and these like uh, purple eyes, like just tapping away a little bit on a data pad. Um, she has like this standard gray, like Imperial officer, not officer, um, Imperial outfit. You can see that the ranking signia that she has on uh, her chest is designates her as an ensign um and do you guys know that this is kind of this is someone um who you are very familiar with this is ensign solomar who is basically your attache we were talking about alfred before this we started basically you're kind of alfred who just does whatever you need to do um to make sure that you guys are comfortable in any way that you guys are around the ship or trying to do things um and she seems really happy in this scenario like almost giddy with excitement as she sees um all of you arrive specifically with the jedi in tow um and she kind of like walks up like or trots up to the to all of you and she says um oh mo- most esteemed greetings supernovas it seems like your mission was a success congratulations thank you ensign if a pair of troopers could take this jedi off our hands that would be appreciate it. Oh, yes, of course, of course. And she, like, snaps her fingers, and, like, a couple of the um, stormtroopers, like, four of them, I'd say, like, come over and just, like, yank the Jedi away from your grip. Not in, like, a way where they're trying to necessarily, like, yank it from you, but they're just, like, mm-hmm. being a bit, like, it's a yeah, Jedi, yeah, yeah. Jedi scum, you know. Like, yeah, <laughs> not um, not ca- carefully taking care yeah, of Yeah, the basically. <laughs> um, and she, she, like, looks back to you all and is, like, again, very very you know happy about the situation she says oh i i imagine this is the runaway jedi uh the isb assumed were there do you did you get any names uh any information about uh what they were doing um anything else that i or captain antis should know Aaron, woman we please the interstellar respiration of certain jedi is lacking <laughs> i'm sorry what HK just stares at her. Didn't we didn't we have a Padawan? Where's the Padawan you picked up? There were Padawans? There were two. Two one Padawans is no longer alive. Oh. The other one I thought we had. This uh, blinks. Everybody looks at Mara. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the two that were on the Jedi ship with her. <laughs> I was doing an experiment. You didn't say we had to keep them. Oh. Well, we don't, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, good. Uh, HK, we got, we got great notes from our little experiment, did we? Our experiment is indeed complete. We were not informed there was going to be inventory management. <laughs> See? Okay, so she like she like starts tapping. So you're telling me there was the Jedi, and then there were two Padawans that are no longer with us at the current. It seems that way. Oh, okay, good. Padawans are a hassle to deal with. There's so much paperwork to. I'm sure it was going to be a whole mess anyway. So uh, the Jedi was really the one thing that we needed more so than anything. So again, congratulations on doing such a good job. I mean, I'm I was really impressed with you guys in your first mission. I I just have to say myself. Um, is there anything well, else? Like any other question for the DM? What's up? Wait, I I would imagine we probably would have had like some form of like data like extraction of the lightsaber manufacturing to uh -huh. give to the to Ensign Solmar or you know whoever's you know the the ringleader of this this group. Is that is that fair to say? Sure, you have like a data spike. Or yeah, something. yeah, you'd probably sure. have. It's either you have a data pad that would have it, or it's in like HK's, you know, memory banks or something like that. Okay. Whichever yeah, one you I think is better. I I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Aaron Woman, uh, Solomar, whatever your your blessed name was. Uh, here, take this to uh, Dark Knight and make sure that he knows the the extent of this this the, the documents or the the information within this data pad. Oh well, actually, um, Captain Antis is is waiting uh, in the mid deck briefing room to hear a full debrief from you guys. So ah uh, yes, the driver and marches forward. <laughs> she, she's like she like looks I suppose that as is you march cue. forward and just kind of like looks back to all the rest of you. Um, okay, well fear not. That is the first efficient move they've made all day. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's unfortunate. Anyway, um. We'll make sure the Jedi uh, is put into the hold, and once they're awoken, we'll, you know, get some further questioning out of them. Uh, unless you would like to be a part of that, we can always I wait. would very much like to be a part of that question. <laughs> make sure the Jedi is under triple guard until I arrive. If the Jedi escapes, I will do everything to the Jedi, or that I was planning to do the Jedi, to you instead. Do you understand me, Ensign? <laughs> can you make a watch? Can you make an intimidation check? Is that a thing in this? Uh, I think so. Is intimidation coercion. 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 Yeah, yeah. Make me a coercion check. Uh, what difficulty? Um, this is a this is like a two, like an average, because <laughs> this is like you're you're kind of an inquisitor, okay. and it's like it's... my co my coercion is not great, guys. Mm. Oh, that looks two good. Advantage. No. Okay, two advantage. Yeah, this is not great. Mm. She's like <laughs> that's not against the difficulty dice, is it? Oh yeah, you didn't do against the difficulty dice. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, also, I'm such a graph. Oh, I'm I sorry. didn't click off the box. <laughs> I didn't click off the box. <laughs> oh, that's well, better. That's I'm better. That's, so, I mean, thank you, like that. What do you get threats for here? <laughs> okay, so several threat, but I got successes, and that's what actually mattered. <laughs> so uh, the ensign kind of like looks at you, and it's like she is like a little bit frightened of you, but she's still holding her ground to an extent, um, mm -hmm. which is pretty shocking. You would know from like an ensign in terms of like behavior. Um, they're usually very easy to just walk over, especially with where you guys are in terms of your power levels. And she's like, okay, well, we can, I'll put the triple the guards, but you do realize that we have like a hundred soldiers on the ship. And if you make a wrong move, I don't know if you can fight through all the soldiers and also through the dark night. I doubt that they would miss you more than they would miss me. And then I'm just going to walk off toward the, uh, the, the, like, captain briefing room, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Ensign Solomar. Yes, HK. M might I suggest adding a training program that involves fighting 100 soldiers on this ship, as well as a Jedi? Oh, yes. Good idea. I... She's, like, hesitant for a moment. That does sound like fun, and I'll walk off behind, uh, behind I'll the officer. I you can prove him wrong. I'll go ahead and put that in your schedules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. 
and she just like starts tapping on the data pad and like is, is done with this conversation as uh, the Jedi begins to um, be let off by the stormtroopers. And as you guys like are walking through, I assume you're all walking to the debriefing room. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how this shit works is like there's there's three decks. There's the lower, the mid, and the upper, um, and then the bridge. Um, so the mid deck is basically where like you guys, your rooms are, any debriefing rooms are, um, any like recreational stuff is over there. It's where you guys eat. Um, and so to get there from the hangar, you have to walk towards this lift. And as you're walking, like uh, the four of you, like towards the lift, you, you're walking past like officers and like a lot of engineers and tech people. And you do get like some sort of like looks towards you in the sense that there is like a mix of fear completely surrounding like every one of the passengers that you walk by. Got places to go, people to people to meet. <laughs> yeah. Got got plans to foil, so we're okay. moving. You're just moving through. Just like okay. Waving. I'm just like <laughs> silly. Hi. Lady Mara, a question. Huh? Do you wish for recording of the experiment to be uploaded to the Imperial Holonet or your personal archive? Mm, oh, just personal archive for now. Understood. Good, good eye. We just keep walking. Hi. <laughs> so, so wait, as you like, just, as uh... Mara's doing like the high in like such a smiley way, it actually feels like they're getting more scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, oh, this is fucked. But you guys get into the lift, and you you know, uh, you hear like some elevator music of the uh, of the force theme, uh, and then. <laughs> you <laughs> you get to the mid deck and the mid deck is it's a lot less more relaxed in terms of a uh, atmosphere here where it's a lot of you still see a lot of like crew members but most of them are just like eating or relaxing and um the debriefing room you guys know where it is because you've been here before um mm -hmm. it's like in the middle of kind of the deck uh and as you get to like the doorway it's closed it's like you, and you can't really see like what's in there Okay. I so imagine the, we just go in. Yeah, okay. I think we just yeah. go to you just open walk it. in, don't <laughs> knock or anything? Is there, no. Do people knock in Star Wars? <laughs> I, I Is no there idea. like a doorbell? There, there are only wait, dramatic wait, entrances. <laughs> Maybe the door open. If if the door opens, then... Yeah. yeah, is it like an automatic door as we approach? Or as we approach, <laughs> it's still closed? No, 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 it's <laughs> not. It, you have to, you have to like... Um, there's like a keypad that you would have we to like hit, hit a button. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, if, if, if the rest don't, I will go up and just straight up open the door and, okay. and walk in. I'm not knocking on that. All right. Uh, so you just walk in and you mm -hmm. see like this uh, air, this debriefing room. It's just like this large circular black table and like around it are just like the black chairs. Kind of like um, if you remember the same style of debriefing room from uh, what's the name of the movie? Why can't I think about the first Star Wars movie? New Hope. Hope. New Hope. Yeah, where like Tarkin and Vader are all like by the uh, table, okay. and there's like sure, that sure, one, sure. Um, that one like sphere in the middle that's kind of like the projector, and mm -hmm. on the opposite end of the um, of the doorway or of the room is this um, woman who you are you know familiar with at this point. She is like has this like um, brown skin and this like black hair that's kind of like in uh, that you see a little bit behind the. Um, cap that they're wearing. This is Captain Antis, who is your driver, as I described it a little bit beforehand. Um, and she's just kind of sitting away typing on this uh, data pad. And as you... She doesn't acknowledge any of you until you enter the... Like, until all of you enter the room and the door closes behind you. She kind of, like, glances up a bit. And she then look, looks down at her data pad and she says... It is not normal Imperial Navy decorum to enter without knocking. Yes, yes, driver woman, please. Uh, can you summon uh, the, the most esteemed and glorious Dark Knight to the, the meeting room? We have uh, meters to discuss. Prep the ship for liftoff. Knock, she, knock. <laughs> she looks like pretty annoyed at you specifically, Waltz, as you say this. <laughs> and she says, she like puts the data pad down. And she says, tell me about the mission. It went well. Next. Is it Imperial protocol for us to discuss the mission without our direct supervisor here? At the current moment, I am the one who is in charge of the ship, and I need to know 
what happened on the ship so I can report it to the Grand Admiral. Well, when you put it like that way, we can hardly refuse. We landed on the planet. We assaulted into the uh, listening post. There were two squads of rebels and one commander. We dispatched them promptly. We then located a Jedi and two Padawan. The Jedi is our captor. The Padawans are no longer. Wait, 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 wait. You, you brought the Jedi here, alive. Unconscious. But alive. Correct. You can see that she's, there is, there's like a hint of like upsetness in there, in her voice, where she's like, she's kind of pissed that she, that you guys are, came back as a unit first off, but also there's a little bit of respect in it that you brought her back alive. Um, and she says, I have to admit that is quite the accomplishment. I um, wasn't entirely sure if you would have came back all in one piece necessarily all of you alive so bringing the Jedi back alive is also something that is pretty valuable and will definitely get you good marks with the Grand Admiral I believe and I, my associates can speak to this further we also found some astrogation data on the Jedi ship I believe so and kind of tosses the the data pad on towards like the middle of like this meeting table if I'm mm -hmm. understanding it correctly yeah she kind of like takes it and like starts scrolling through it um, and she stops and she's looking at some of the info and she says huh interesting I was not aware of this lightsaber manufacturer this is something that must be brought up to the Grand Admiral at some point correct so if we could hastily get a meeting with uh, our direct superior and get a, you know, as the kids say, a move on, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Well, okay, let me see if I can get a hold of him. And um, she like starts typing on her, or like hitting some buttons on her data pad. And um, as like this like orb in the middle, like starts flashing a little bit and like with like blue light and um, the projection of like this person um like comes out and it like starts to sharpen and as you like as it sharpens you see this like um this kind of like older not older man but like mid 50s i would say um mm. with like this like jet black hair um in this like these white robes that you guys are kind of know is like the um status mm -hmm. clothing of someone who is a grand admiral um and the Grand Admiral is like typing away um, on their own like data pad themselves and looks up not to where you guys are because you guys are not technically um, in front of him, but mm. he kind of like he, he puts the data pad away and like stands at attention. And um, you know, this is Grand Admiral Ritter, is this person uh, okay. who oh, is your okay. direct superior. Um, mm -hmm. And you hear his voice kind of from the other side. Um, in like this, you know, uh, projection-esque way of co uh, communicating. Captain Antis, to what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, Waltz immediately would uh, straighten up, like, shockedly, like, seeing somebody <laughs> who's, like, you know, so esteemed and so, you know, respected and, like, gets to, like, one knee, like, in, in just the most, like, unapologetically like brown nosing like oh, trying to show as much re the biggest simp <laughs> the most simp is gonna very pointedly sort of like rotate and stare <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just <laughs> Walt. as Walt is simping you're just getting stared at by like this droid <laughs> um, so Captain Antis like responds and says well um, your um, supernovas are, have returned to the ship and uh, they requested to talk with you to give a full report on the situation that happened on Renvar. And then he kind of like turns to all of you and all of you make, is insight a thing in this? Um, let me check. I need to, I, I feel like it'd be, well, perception is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all of you make perception checks for me, uh, two against two of the purple dice. Cool. Make sure to retweet first. Oh, uh, hit one second. There we go. 
You said a perception Wait. check? Yes. Why doesn't, it... Why doesn't it do it against the purples? Make sure you're clicking out of the box initially. I know sometimes if you highlight like the text. There we go. There you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so everyone... Um, so let's see. This is... So Talrin, Mara, Kial, and... Where's Waltz? Waltz, did you roll one? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. there it is. Um, you all notice that like as he turns to you, um, he... Like, visually, you can see it in his face that he's counting that there are five of you there. Or four of you there, I guess I should say. I will say, I think Waltz would be staring at the ground until addressed, so I don't see this. Okay. But the <laughs> rest of you, the rest of the you can kind of see him, like, mentally ticking off fingers. It's like, okay, there's four of them alive, so this went okay. And, like, his... As, like, all of you are there, his, um... He kind of, like, has this, like, small smile, and he says... Ah, welcome back. I expect that the mission was a success. The fact that you're all standing here in front of me, one of you kneeling. Rise, Waltz. Like, shakedly stands and still, like, not necessarily meeting the gaze of the Grand Admiral, but, like, is now standing. <laughs> just, like, still head down. It's, like, not just trying to show the utmost respect to a point of, like, maybe some disrespect. Yeah. I can assure you that Operative Tycho has not undertaken motor damage. They are simply pathetic. <laughs> well, interesting uh, observation there, HK. Now, what I need to know from you all is a full debrief of what happened on the mission, and I suspect it went well again because you are standing in front of me, and you like, narrows his eyes with all of your limbs intact uh question for the dm real quick yeah um we opened last session in combat mm -hmm. um what was the process by which we had gotten to that point like how were we revealed so you guys had like you guys were basically stealthing your way in and like trip some alarm that like made the rebels kind of follow you um okay would we have been aware that those alarms were in place and it was through our mistake or were we not informed of it and not it informed. Was kind of... okay. okay cool we got bad uh, intel yeah you got bad intel <laughs> respectfully we entered the operation as expected and were swiftly found through information that was either outdated or incorrect and once discovered swiftly dispatched the rebels and found the jedi Is that all? Oh, uh, K7, data pad, please. K7 would hand over a data pad. Actually, he just hold out his wrist. It's got a built-in oh, data pad. That's true, that's true. <laughs> he just kind of like orients the wrist towards the admiral and like clicks on the experiment. I. I think you would oh. find this information so useful and starts like describing oh, like the goodness. biological changes <laughs> maybe, that are happening. Maybe jumping uh, ahead a little bit there, Mara. Uh, we encountered the Jedi alongside two Padawan. All three were armed. All three were really pretty easy to dis. Well, two were e easy to dispatch. One was easy to eliminate, and one was easy to capture. As you mentioned the Padawans, his, his, he kind of like does like this like eyebrow raise, but then like the smile grows a little bit and he says, excellent work. ISB had told me that this Selazan Jedi person was taking Padawans with them. Eliminating <laughs> them definitely shows your loyalty. To our cause. Meanwhile, there's a looped hologram of a girl being sucked out of <laughs> the airlock going out of his worst state of fact. <laughs> And I'm just like describing it while yeah. <laughs> getting interrupted. <laughs> I like pause, wait for Paul to talk, and then continue. <laughs> uh, HK, if you would be so kind to forward that intel to my personal uh, data pad, I would appreciate that very much. That will be done. This is information that I believe Lord Vader will have use for. <laughs> That's the first time, by the way, that you've all heard that name dropped. Like, 
in convos. Sure, would we, we would we would definitely. You would know, we who, know You know. You know. And are we also, simping? So I need you all to roll um, cool checks for me. How? Uh, what? Do... Two purples <laughs> again, uh, against two purples. Roll a cool against two purples. Where is cool? It is. Uh... So fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool AF. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, cool, 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 cool. I hope this works. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so, <laughs> Waltz, so here's what happens. Fuck. Waltz. Okay, so I'll do Waltz first because this. As, like, the name Vader, like, hits the air, you. You're almost, like, wetting yourself in, like, how Yes. Scary. Okay, <laughs> this is ideal. <laughs> you're, like, you feel like the shiver just run down mm -hmm. your back as, like, the brain. rest. The rest of them, like, um, like Tolrin, Tolrin doesn't necessarily succeed in terms of like how they like. Uh, so you actually don't succeed. So you feel like a little bit of a shitter, shiver, not as bad as <laughs> a little bit of a shit, little bit of a shit, um, <laughs> not as bad as the way that Waltz is feeling right now. But you feel like kind of this like, you know that Vader is someone to not be fucked with, and like the rest of you are aware that, like, Vader is this, like, incredibly um, important character uh, and very, very strong and very, very deadly and very, very scary, but you manage to, like, hold your nerve in front of him, and he doesn't notice that. But he notices Tolerant and he notices Waltz kind of change a bit when Vader is mentioned, and he looks to both of you kind of, and is like, you are aware... That Vader is who I answer to. Permission answered, Grand Admiral Ritter. <laughs> Jesus. Permission granted, and he like rolls his eyes. <laughs> uh, with all due respect and honesty, sir, uh, he, he's he's somebody who demands quite a bit of respect, and to know that our merry band of Misfits recorded something to appease the Lord Vader. It would be uh, mean uh, a lot. That is all. He all just has like is actually just like <laughs> one hand or one <laughs> fucking hand just rubbing his face like oh my god this fucking simp. Do not address Lady Mara as a misfit. <laughs> I meanwhile I'm like I totally ignored the comment and have been like fangirling. I'm like pulling on K7's arm that is like not moving him. Oh my him. god, it's Vader, it's Vader, it's Vader. Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> my video is gonna get to Vader. Um uh, does Tolerant do anything in regards to this information? Um Tolerant is going to she's she's going to just take a, like a half step back. Um, mm -hmm. from, from the table at the mention of Lord Vader. Um, respectfully, Grand Admiral, success is its own reward. And stay silent after that. Well, I hope you continue because when, or if I should say, you were to fail, it's not me you're answering to. It's him. He kind of just lets that hang in the air for a bit. I think Waltz would probably just, like, Piss drop gaze pants. and just, like, <laughs> shiver a little bit. Anyway. In the last metaphorical yeah. rewards, we have also recovered several Jedi weapons. His eyes kind of, like, light up a bit, and he says, Well, first off, how many? It's Two three. of the three. As long, wait, did the Padawan get airlocked with her weapon, or do you have that one? I, I, I have possession of the youngest. Okay, so two out of three. Yep. The third was, unfortunately, destroyed in their apprehension. Well, that's still good. And he, like, turns around to, like, glance at Antis over his chandeliers. Antis, make sure that those lightsabers are, uh, transported to Coruscant, uh, effective immediately. If you could uh, place the lightsabers on the table, HK, I would be very appreciative of that. HK looks to Mara to see if he's going to put the lightsaber on the table. And just, like, nods. <laughs> and then he does say. So. Okay. So you put the lightsabers uh, on the table. 
Tal Talrin will take the other one and use the just using the force to put it on the table as well. Okay. Antis like pulls them back um, and um, nods a bit, um, and then Rare kind of looks back at all of you and he says, "Well, with your first test completed, we can now move on to further steps of our plan." Eliminating the Jedi and Rebels completely from the Outer Rim. Is there any other information that happened on this mission? Um, as he asked that question, would it be possible to get a sense of, is, is he fishing because he knows something? Or is he fishing in the sense that, like, hey, maybe they just found something extra? Make a perception check. Difficulty? Three. So that's three purple? Three purple, yeah. Um, can I use a blue die on my inspiration for this one? No. If you want to use a destiny point, you can do. Okay. Um, are we cool with me using a destiny point? We have seven. Go for we it. We have okay. destiny for days. <laughs> I will use a destiny point to give myself... Uh, okay. So that's one blue? That'd be one blue. Cool. And then flip me a destiny point. So we'll do that. Um, and then you said perception? Yes. Okay. A destiny point upgrades it, right? Holy Ooh, shit. That is a heavy Ooh. fail. Well, you didn't oh, use your did, blue. Oh, I didn't use my, didn't use my, oh okay. I didn't click roll out of the, uh, one boost die. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't click out of the box. That's so frustrating. Yeah, roll okay. one uh, boost die. So reset, then roll one, or just re-roll the whole thing? Just re I mean, you have an inspiration, so if you want to use that, you can... Um, <laughs> let me roll the boost die first, and then we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if the boost die is going to get you out of this one challenge. Yeah, the boost die literally cannot get you out of it. Yeah, sure. It's it's not not just, my yeah, we've always yeah. re-rolled when we fucked up the roll. Yeah, but I'll, I'll use my perception. I'll use my oh, that's true. That's true. true. Reroll the roll. That's okay. a good call by Lemon. I got you. Perception. Got you, my guy. <laughs> I think this is right. Oh my Dice God. lawyer. That is a lot better. That is. That is a lot better. better. Mm. Um. And now with now with additional threats. Now with additional <laughs> threats. Uh, let me check something really really quick. Uh... Hey, at least it's not three failures and a triumph. True. Any truers? Yeah, that's pretty true. Well, you succeed first off, so let's like you you succeeded, which is good for you. Um... I can just no, he's just the... deciding how to spend the threat. I am <laughs> definitely doing that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, it's not just him who knows. It's Vader too. I have oh, so I... many. I have so many freaking like tabs open. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, all. If it. No, no, never mind. Never mind. I'll, I'll wait. Till if it bring... pleases the court. If it pleases the DM. No. <laughs> If you, you want allowed. context for why I'm asking, or yes, actually, it... okay, do that so that way you can fill time while I do this. Okay, so <laughs> the context for why I'm asking, Talrin is Talrin feels they've been set up on their entry to the thing, so there's a little bit of um, ah, okay. okay, there's okay. a little bit of a little bit of pressure behind it. So if you want to use a threat that way, she's <clears> she's she's posting. See if there's like, are we being set up to fail? Are the or are these just the tests escalating in? in difficulty to see if we continue to succeed despite all odds being against us. Okay. HK does not understand <clears throat> this game. Okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Um, you're kind of in two minds a little bit in terms of like this you 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 can read successfully that he is genuinely asking for more information there doesn't seem to be anything behind it in terms of like any um malice or anything right um but because you're fighting with yourself you take two strain okay <laughs> tell him just looking at the grand admiral like Okay. If that's so, the information was there. Anything else that I am missing, or is everything on the uh, report? With it, well, with it, with that, with that insight, I'm going to, I'm going to say, we also discovered the presence of what could be a lightsaber crystal manufacturer. 
for at uh, least reference to the location. Okay. Who ha- so you see his face kind of like darken slightly. And he's looking and he says, who has this information? Like specifically we didn't hand it between to the us, or captain. No. I think we all, we all, we all, we all. Well, the captain has the data pad. We all yeah. looked at it. Sure, but physical information is in the hands of Ensign Solomar. He like looks back and he says, "Antis, call Ensign Solomar immediately and have that information transported to my data pad at the second. And he looks back at all of you and he says, Ooh. "You're certain there is information about a." lightsaber manufacturer in the outer rim. Correct, Grand Admiral. That is what it seems to be. We also have the Jedi Sal- uh, Selizan in custody. We'll be interrogating her shortly when she awakes. He, he like, as you say you're going to be interrogating her, he thinks for a moment, and he says, I would request that the Jedi be kept alive. If she has info on more of these types of manufacturers or she was harboring two Padawans, she must know more information. You see, like, Kial, like, grit his teeth a little bit and, like, one of his hands just balls into a fist? Yes, Grand Admiral. Just kind of, like, pats Paul's shoulder. How long? Referring to how long is she being kept alive? thinks for a moment and you can tell that this isn't a question he wasn't actually expecting to answer (laughs) Uh, and he at least until I can get someone from ISB to your location to interrogate her myself very well trust your interrogation of of sound mind and physical existence that's all we can promise HK has finished uploading the uh, the air locking hollow recording to the data pad. <laughs> it like beeps and he looks down at it and he's like, oh. <laughs> it, it includes Mara like being very excited at the beginning as she closes the air lock. It's like, record this. It's okay. Like, okay. World star. Xbox record that. <laughs> as well if that is all i shall call captain entis within the next few days um regarding next steps for you as we look over the data in terms of finding this lightsaber manufacturer in the meantime i suggest that you well one interrogate this jedi keep her alive and since you have completed your first mission, I believe it might be time for you to speak more openly with Knight Rhea. And Knight Rhea is this, is essentially your handler in the sense that they are your conduit to anything about the dark side of the force. Mm. Well, they're your class trainer. Basically, (laughs) yeah. Their class trainer. Um, Those don't exist anymore. They don't. Sand. But especially after the trials you have gone through in this first mission, she might have insight into deepening your connection with the dark side of the force. All of you make perception checks for me. Against three bl- uh, three purples. Three purple. It's time to fail. <laughs> Roll. It's not good for me. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong button. Meh. Oh, not my God. <laughs> wow. Unlucky, surely. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I, pre- I, pressed, I pressed the wrong one. Okay. What is with the threats today? Good um. Lord. Tolerin is the only one who succeeded. Um, so Tolerin, you are the only one who notices when he mentions the dark side of the forest, Captain Antis rolls her eyes. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. He says, well, again, congratulations on a successful first mission. I will be in contact with you relatively soon. Glory to the Empire. Quest, minor, Hello. minor introduction, or, uh, like, addition. Mm -hmm. As he's, like, closing communications, can Waltz, like, squeak up and be like, yes, Great Admiral, uh, if I could have for a moment, uh, and then, like, it just cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Is that cool? Sure. All right, awesome. That's cool. Do any of you return the call, like, the Glory to the Empire call? Yeah, Glory oh, to the Empire. I would. Uh, it's just haphazard. It's Glory to the Empire. <laughs> HK does not. HK does not. Okay. Um... <laughs> So the, the projection kind of like flickers away and um, Antis is uh, like sitting there looking, you know, kind of the same way we were, where they were just like fiddling with the data pad. Well, uh, you heard him. Uh, the knight is in the lower deck um, uh, in her sanctuary, whatever they call it. And uh, I will get to work on extract extracting mm. any information about this Celazon um, after you deal with her, I guess. Any requests for us, Captain? Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't murder anyone on my ship. Understood. Anyone? And I'll leave. <laughs> HK is going to look to Pauzable's character. It, like you, uh, Kial Kial is still just like teeth gritting. Like, he, like he's kind of like digging his fingernails into his own hand, just thinking about like, I don't get to kill the Jedi. I don't get to kill the Jedi. <laughs> he's still, still just upset about that. Just hardly even paying attention at this point. I like Mara's trying to like calm Kial and just. I mean, they said no kill. They didn't say no harm. You know we can do. And it starts describing like little torture things, like <laughs> we twist this and then. It actually like that. that would actually work somewhat. <laughs> Kial does at least minus up. one strain for torture yeah. fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think she's like comforting him, so she's like, "See, everything's gonna be okay." <laughs> and then Kiel realizes like who he's getting comfort from and just like uh, <laughs> Mara, I suppose. we should get on our way to see Night Raya and just like slowly sidesteps away from Mara before turning to rock out of the room. Yeah. Captain Antis, enjoy your brief tenure as a logistics operator. He nods at the uh, lightsabers and then pops <laughs> off afterwards. She as, like, as HK she turns around, growls at like she, she, or like under her breath, she like snarls and she's just like mad. You can see the steam coming out of her eyes at this point, her ears at this point. Would 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 Waltz have like caught that? Like, make a perception you know, check for me, Waltz. Okay. What's the how many purples am I rolling? I'd say this is a three purple. Three purples. <laughs> she, she's being quite mad. subtle about being angry. Yeah. <laughs> Our angry uh, perception is. There and hopefully this works. Ooh, <laughs> you you become a target of the end. You have an inspo if you out. want. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is too oh, on brand. Oh, so, oh. <laughs> no, you don't notice well, it, and you're just like you. The the threats really don't. Uh, actually, nah. Okay, I won't say. I'll say that you you're you're just like kind of chilling. Until I can find a better way to spend stuff. <laughs> okay. I love it. Uh, yeah, I guess then he'd probably just uh, chuckle at the word captain and follow HK wherever. Okay. If we're going to Night Raya or wherever. Okay. I did call her uh, by her correct uh, uh, ranking, right? Like she is captain. She is Captain Antis, yes. Cool. I just mm -hmm. wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, Logistics tell her not trying to tra tell her not trying to BM, just uh, <laughs> a little forgetful. So again, you make your way through. Um, are you guys going? Okay, so you can either. Are you guys going to the Night Rea or are you going to the interrogation room? Um, I think I told the the uh, uh, ensign to let us know when the Jedi had woken up. So unless yeah. the ensign has come to collect us, I'm gonna go see Night Rea. You have not gotten any calls from the ensign. Yeah, I. I uh, but uh, Talrin was the first one to leave, and she's going to the night uh, okay. as well. Um, on the way there, if possible. 
Um, Talrin is still trying to keep a sort of uh, sense out, like trying to feel just the general emotional setup of the ship. Is there anyone... The, the kind of thing that she's looking for is if there's anyone who seems to be um, specifically... Instead of the general fear, a more focused rage or anger or something like that uh, to any of us in particular. She's just keeping that out. Like I'm not. I'm not saying she's gonna go looking for something specifically. You're just. That's kind of just for... the vibe she's kind of. She's yeah. Roll me a cool check. Cool. Difficulty cool. of three, because you're looking through a lot of people right now. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Inspiration or. Taking this one. No, I'm I'm taking okay. this. I'll take this. Note. You don't really notice anything, and cool. it, like yeah. as you're kind of like trying to, you know, look through all of these and read all of these minds, it's like weighing a little bit heavily on you. So, take a strain. Okay. Can uh, I try to speed walk past uh, <laughs> Paul, Paul Ren? Sure. I like noticing them like ahead of me. Like I I want to be like the first one to get to Rhea. So like I try to like <laughs> up the tempo a little bit. Okay, sure. Do I do I roll like an athletics or? I mean, I'm just trying to fail. I mean... You know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be nice to fail. <laughs> just be fit. Face uh... climb. <laughs> Face I mean, if you really want to roll an athletics for this, I... go for it, man. Like, like how far ahead would you? It's not would like you I mean, you're tolerance. you're in like the deck of a ship, so it's not like you're. It's not like she's like incredibly far ahead of you, right? I don't think Talrin's speed walking. Either. I don't think it's worth. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. If you're gonna, if you're gonna attempt to speed walk, then like you will eventually just outpace Talrin. All right. What would I roll? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I think charm for on a tiny deck of a ship being able to pull oh, off the speed just... walk because you're gonna <laughs> literally be within <laughs> like a couple of centimeters as you go past. I wish there was so, like a performance. So it... I would. <laughs> I think Coordination maybe. Uh, if we're walking cool. through like a yeah a yeah 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 make a make a make a coordination check I like that at a I difficulty like, of at a difficulty of two because it's like it's two. not okay. that hard to speed walk in front of someone well you would be what? surprised hey what hey. double yes. crit speed walk yeah so you <laughs> <laughs> you basically like like in, in just like flowing so naturally Walt just like starts picking up the pace he's walking with purpose and he just like cuts right in front of Tolerin and is now the leader of this little band uh, that's walking through the mid decks. Uh, and people seem to, uh, people seem to, again, kind of give you all slightly weird looking looks. Like they're just like, you look incredibly out of place in Aww. this like wide sea of like officers in uniform. Right. Sure. Sure. In the in the sea of like office, like the gray yeah. officers and the white stormtroopers, yeah, and we're just yeah. all in like dark black. Yeah, it's clothes. it's not it's not looking terribly normal. Um, as you guys, uh, oh, go ahead. Are there staff in this corridor that would be uh, engineering, or at least be visibly identifiable as like engineering staff? Yeah, engineering staff kind of wear more like um, black outfits. They don't have the same like gray as like the. Um, Imperial officers, like you can definitely tell them apart. Like they don't have the cool. hats w either. When we're near one, HK would turn to Mara. Mm -hmm. Lady Mara, I wish to engage in a further experiment. Huh? I wish to engage in an experiment about stimulus. Okay. Uh, then HK turns to one of the black-clad engineering staff. Lord Vader deems it imperative that this weapon is maintained. And he'd like unleash his like disruptor rifle and just hold it out like straight arm towards them. You're just like holding up a holding up an engineering guy. No, no, like he he brings out like the war crime tier disruptor rifle, which is like Lord Vader deems it imperative this weapon is maintained just okay. straight towards the engineering make person. An in, make an intimidation check. <laughs> the coercion check. Can I the help? Corrosion check. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. You can help like by mean, uh, so mean go mug. ahead and. Go ahead and give yourself a uh, a blue dice with the help you're getting from Mara as she's mean mugging 
And uh, is this like a is this like a moe moe like cutie pouty <laughs> anime like? <laughs> is, is, is this against a difficulty <laughs> of two? It's against a difficulty of two uh, two purple. Yeah, because you are okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um. So you, uh, the engineer like looks caught off guard and like once you mention Lord Vader, his eyes just like widen and he like yanks it from you almost and it's like and it's like holding it like a child almost he's like okay um uh sure where 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 um can 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 i uh, bring this back to you um sir droid um hk hk77 hk77 where where would you like this return to um hk sir? would give the address of his normal like bay i assume okay Turn i would to sender i would assume you are in the same room as like where Mara would be. Yeah. So yeah, you just give that area, and he's like, "Okay, um, I'll get on this right away." And you see him just like bolt away, holding this rifle, and everyone's kind of just like everyone who he was talking to originally are just like silent, not saying anything. That stimulus proved powerful. I may use wow. it again. Of course. Take and like pulls out like a pad, and I was like, well. You take note of that. <laughs> Just name dropping Vader because he doesn't understand the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that made Tycho freak the fuck out. Let me see if this is see if common amongst all, your, all organics. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Uh, okay, so I assume by this time the rest of you are like got into the lift. You're heading back down to the um, lower deck, which is where the hangar mm -hmm. was, and like towards the back of the hangar. This is like that's usually where um like stuff is stored like it's it's like a, kind of like a catch-all in terms of a room where it can be almost like converted into anything um sure. you haven't been here yet you've met night raya but you haven't been to this area before question for the dm uh, can we get a night raya full title is it like dark night raya most dark esteemed, night raya. glorious dark okay, night raya. cool most esteemed. Awesome. Most esteemed. first of her name yeah <laughs> for your <ear of> change <laughs> well uh Walt just needs to know exactly how to refer to the uh i'm glad you're catching on <laughs> so do you have any uh gaffer's tape around here no no uh no relation <laughs> So you guys, um, you guys end up heading like towards the back of this, um, towards the back of the hangar, and you reach these like large kind of like sliding doors that like open the Star Wars way, where it's like a they mm -hmm. kind of like all slide open, um, mm -hmm. like the quad, like the door quad, qu quad thing. door slide. Yeah, okay. Um, and as you like all get close, um, the doors open like very slowly and you see this kind of this woman like on her um just like in the middle of the room the room is like very dimly lit and the only thing that you can see is like lighting up the room is <clears throat> this woman is like kind of in like meditation like on her knees just like um staring down with her eyes closed, so not really staring, but like that. She's just looking at this like double edged lightsaber that's like glowing and activated in red, and it's just sitting on this like elevated platform in front of her. And that's really all that's in the room at the current moment. Straight into Simpery, Waltz is like, Madam Dark Knight Rhea, and like gets down to like uh, uh, res an overly <laughs> do you, do respectful. Do you enter meal. the room first or like? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, Walt no, probably he, beats he us he there was... by like five minutes too because he's just been power walking the whole way. <laughs> I don't even remember like why we're supposed yeah. to be here, and I don't think Walt would either. Just shitting his pants, so he's just gonna be there, like no goal in yeah. mind, just like addressing this menacing figure. As you guys, so I assume all of you are just gonna enter the room, right? I, I mean, I imagine we'd be like like a, a little bit behind Waltz because he yeah. was just like all but sprinting there. But yeah, yep. we'd, we'd, we'd enter. So once you all get there, you notice that like the second you step foot into the doorway, the room gets darker, not from a physical sense, but from a like spiritual sense. 
Does HK feel nothing? HK feels absolutely <laughs> dick all around. Yeah. yeah um, Ash is like, whoa. Everyone else just feels like a little bit colder, a little bit like shakier as they enter the room. Um, and as you a all. A little kind less of, cool? As you all enter, um, she doesn't like look up at all. She still just like look, like kind of just her gaze, if her eyes were open, are just staring down at this lightsaber. And she, like, you know, talks and she says, Welcome, supernovas. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well, we've completed our first mission. Excellent. Please sit. And she, like, motions in front of her. Just, like, on the floor? Yeah. Um, I, Talrin will sit cross-legged in front of her. Yeah, same. I'm, like, skittering up, head down, gaze at the ground, like, set, like, kindergarten style, like... <laughs> Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross. Yes. You're playing Duck, Duck, Goose right now? Pretty much. <laughs> Ars too distracted. She's standing, looking around, trying to figure out why it's dark, while K HK is, like... Not doing anything. Yeah, it's like, just about. Are you right seeing now. this shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've detected no changes in temperature nor lumens in this room. <laughs> she kind of like waves her hand, and the door behind you closes. And as you all, well, I, not you all, because you guys have no, two of you haven't sat down yet. But um, oh well, I mean, Kiel would also sit down. Yeah, now. she not with the same urgency as fucking Waltz, but like. <laughs> I was sliding in on his knees. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> well, I man hit the sojourn ability just fucking right in there. <laughs> um, when you were on this mission, what did you feel in regards to the force? <laughs> HK interjects when she says feel. Recoil. <laughs> she can't help but like give like a s very small chuckle. I haven't I haven't upgraded his firmware about the whole emotional intelligence thing. That's gonna be in the next patch. Um. Uh. Hmm, and then kind of thinks for herself. Mm -hmm. I ask this question because. Now that you are on this path, you need to realize what in the dark side is giving you your power. Is it your lust for power? Revenge? Saving someone? Creating order in the galaxy? What do you need from the dark side. Permission to speak, Miss Rhea! <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> she, like, kind of, like, nods to, like, raises her head, inclines her head a bit towards you. To, to create and preserve the safety and of, of the Empire's constituents, ma'am. You, <laughs> anyone who is paying attention can see, like, Kial just visibly hold back a gag. <laughs> well that's definitely one way I remember there was this someone similar uh, I believe he went by the name of Count Dooku who also used the dark side as a way to potentially create order in the galaxy away from a corrupt republic but what Would about that name like track at all yeah you know who dooku is for sure okay like... <laughs> then just like nodding along like trying to active listen but like isn't saying a word okay so we have one here who wishes to create order in the galaxy what about the rest of you You do not have the necessary clearance to access my prime directive. It 
it's okay, K7. Is this... Is this some kind of group therapy? <laughs> I didn't have that in the schedule. K7, is this on the schedule? <laughs> 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 blinking K at him until he responds. <laughs> K7 said just shakes. <laughs> no, K7 just weird. like go and you see the, the code in his eyes just like going forward in the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> but the programming is failing. Yeah. This is a way that I can help you become stronger. If I know what your true goal in using the dark side of the forces i can make you one of the strongest people in the entire galaxy but for me to know you must also know or else i cannot help you oh if you want to make me stronger can i get an upgrade on this pistol starts describing like the make and model that she like wants for christmas type of stuff <laughs> that would be big for the next mission because I missed a couple of shots and I honestly think this thing is bugs and is like now rambling on on how like mid her current pistol is. <laughs> Empire tech. She like, she's, she's, she's kind of just like, to her credit, she's still just like sitting there and just like waiting for you to be done. Um, how long, would, <laughs> how long do you think Mara rambles about this? A few minutes, and then okay. until she sees, like, a visibly no annoyed face, probably, like, you know, anything will do. And just kind of cuts herself off and whatever the budget can do. No. Tolerin, what brought you to this path that you're currently on? The truth of the galaxy is power. And I seek the truth. So power. Power we can work with. Power we know how to use. The Jedi run from power. They, they think it is something to be limited. Something that should not have infinite potential. But we know better. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Talarin is staying perfectly still, hands on knees, mm -hmm. just <clears throat> listening. Yeah, Kiel is kind of just like, like half you like half focused he's zoning out in the space you can see is like he's gritting his teeth again mm -hmm. kial i sense much frustration in you kial finally like looks up and just meets her eyes i will feel every jedi suffer and then looks away again and starts gritting his teeth Is this a suffering built from revenge? He just kind of looks further away, not, not looking back ah, to her. I see. Let me tell you... Well, first off, okay. Mara... Make a Mara, make a um what would this check be? Ro. -ro. <laughs> make just like a make roll me one um uh white dice, like the force dice for me. Force Against like dice? nothing. Yeah, so like the white dice, um hit the retweet just... and then just roll a singular force dice. Is this how I do it? Yep, perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> You feel, Mara, that she's trying to get into your mind at this current moment. She's, like, trying to look for something. Do you let her in? Nope. Okay. <laughs> 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 hmm. 
I will say, Mara, you are quite strong. Not... Thanks. Letting me see deeper into your consciousness, but there must be some reason why you are here with... And she, like, motions to HK, him. Uh... Hmm... Maybe I can pe- kind of elbows carry seven. We can maybe schedule into some one-on-one therapy discussion. Like, add, Lady, add- Martha's Ma- Lady, Lady Mara's matters require a level of privacy. Yeah, I don't like talking in front of groups. Um, but my family did a lot of this kind of work, and I'm also doing this kind of work. So, I think this is all kind of fun. I don't know why we have to have a really deep reason about it. And just kind of, like, smiles like a dipshit. (laughs) (laughs) Fair, that is... There are people who simply use the dark side as a way of... Entertainment. To say the least. But there is a story I want to tell you when I was have you ever heard the tale (laughs) (laughs) oh god damn it (laughs) when I was a young padawan attempting to become a Jedi there was once this Twi'lek princess of a noble family (laughs) oh me and Lemon went different directions (laughs) it works though they both work (laughs) <laughs> Lemon's was, topical though with the MCR. That's anyway, true. Sorry. That's true. Sorry, very sorry, true. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. There was once this Twilic princess of a noble family named Sela, who angered her father in some way I don't remember exactly by disobeying him. So as punishment, her father put Sela on the top of a mountain. He purchases ten rancors to guard the mountain and surrounds the princess in fire, in a ring of fire. And the princess is destined to stay there forever until a hero arises brave enough to save her. In typical Jedi fashion. This hero arrives to save the princess and he scales the mountain because he's not afraid of it. He kills the rancors because he's not afraid of them. And he walks through fire because he is not afraid. That lack of fear only exists in stories told to children. Fear, true fear, real fear, cannot be avoided. Fear is what gives us our power. Fear of losing, fear of failure. Harnessing that is the first step to understanding the dark side. You can hear like an audible gulp. (laughs) You're not sure from where, but you can guess. I I wonder (laughs) where. (laughs) Observation. If a Twilight King had previously simply purchased an HK droid, fear would not have saved the hero. (laughs) <laughs> she kind of like laughs a bit at that. She's just like, that is potentially true. But what I want to, you all to understand is that the light side is continuously tells us that 
The dark side is the easy way out. It's the simpler path. They have no idea. And any temptation you find to head to that other path, you should snuff it out immediately. I have no problem killing Jedi. Sounds good to me. Very good. Now, I think you are all ready, especially taking down a Jedi of your own, to progress in terms of your ascendancy in the dark side of the Force. Use that fear, use that hatred, use that power for revenge. Use your want for entertainment and snuff out every single part of the light. And the lightsaber cuts off and it's just dark in there now and it slowly like starts to like get um the light slowly starts to go up a bit in the room and mm -hmm. she's no longer there mara's been trying to play solitaire on hk's arm <laughs> <laughs> she's you very bored your arm? <laughs> you got any games on your arm <laughs> you oh, she just batmaned out of here damn you gotta play uh what's it what's the one that was on the calculator box world <laughs> <laughs> bro just import doom onto hk 77's <laughs> arm <laughs> why doesn't this why doesn't this have uh anti-aliasing on it this is not good <laughs> need to get hk a new gpu mm. hk's not mm. running on nvidia sad <laughs> <laughs> all right the chip shortage strikes in mysterious ways <laughs> mm. It's a chip shortage in the galaxy. Uh, anyway, that's actually probably a good time to take a break because it's 1030. So that yeah, makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll be back in a bit. Chat. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll see you around. Bye. All in the cave. Uh, the car shields his eyes at the bright light, but eventually lets out a, a toothy grin. As he, uh, as he sees that his wildest dreams are coming to fruition. Mm. Hi, Kaz. There you go. We've opened the vault for you. Mm. I... I have a bad feeling about this. I am going to... 